understanding of PSA as a solution over Dynamics 365. We will learn how to set up the trial for PSA on top of Microsoft Dynamics 365. We will start with the installation of PSA as a solution on top of Microsoft Dynamics 365. Then we will see the customization options at very high level of customization that can be done over PSA as a solution in Microsoft Dynamics 365. Then we will proceed with the navigation of PSA module and will explore different setting options available in PSA. Then finally, we will learn through basic sales process using the project service automation in Dynamics 365. Let's start with the setting up a trial solution of PSA. PSA can be set up as a trial for the first time or even you can install the solution later. In this course, we will learn how to set up the trial. Let's open the below URL and we will be able to see a screen with get started button. After clicking the get started, you will see the next screen. In the next screen, you will be able to see the below options to pick and choose from the setting up the trial for Microsoft Dynamics 365. Sales, customer service, field service, project service automation, all of this. In our case, click on the project service automation and let's start the hands-on. So let's open this link in order to set up the trial instance for project service automation. Since we discussed in our previous video, we know Dynamics 365 support various solution for the business. Have a look at the screen. You can see sales, customer service, field service, and project service automation. For us, we will start by creating project service automation trial. Click next. Here, there is an option to add the work email address. If you are registering with the work email, Otherwise, there's a small link that says don't have work email address. We can click this for our demo. Let's change the instance to India. Let's give the first name and last name. Let's provide some email ID. Phone number. Let's take the company as Microsoft English is a language click next admin demo psc let's see if this exists no demo psc one let's give the password let's uncheck email in phone no it is asking me to prove that i am not a robot so I'll just select the phone number. It will send me a text message with the OTP. Now I need to enter that verification code. Let's wait to get the verification code. Here it is. This process is trying to create the account. This is a sign in page which we will require in order to log into the portal. And here is the user ID. We might have to wait for some time. Let's click on setup. Let's choose project service automation for this trial. We can also change the currency based on this, but let's change it to US, US dollar, then some. Let's complete the setup. The CRM has loaded. Now after creation and setup of account, let's first understand PSA as a solution. On the right hand side of a screen, you can see the guided help. Here are some links. Let's explore these links. These links are useful to understand the solution. Let's explore them by clicking each. Let's click start with a welcome tour. It starts with a dashboard. Dashboard provides the insight you need to stay on top of performance. You can switch between different dashboards from here. Here, your trial includes dashboards with sample data, so you get an idea of how they will look when you buy. You can also create your custom dashboards for yourself or your team. For example, you can add a bar chart like this to track gross margin or a total sales for your projects. Let's click 
on got it after clicking on the button got it it will close the dialog let us see the guided help section again we can see the different parts for the apps like track the performance visually engage with clients plan and staff the project let's click each one of them to get the basic details about the app let's click on track performance visually this has loaded a different guided help here it says you can track performance visually using the dashboards as they highlight key metrics for your role so you can monitor your projects and spot the trends easily for example the resource manager dashboard includes charts to assist with the resource planning let's click on engage with client it will take you to the open opportunity grid here we can see a different guided help created specially for the opportunity when someone is interested in your services the first step is to add a new opportunity then you'll put together a code here are some videos that tells you how to add the opportunity in crm and put together a code for the customer let's try open an opportunity form project opportunities are displayed in grid that you can sort filter and search you can click a name in the list to open a form and see the project details this button the new command opens a form with the fields so that you can fill it let's navigate to the next stop for our guided help let's move on to the final piece which is plan and staff the project as quote is approved by the customer then project managers comes into the system and starts the planning as you plan a project you will add a project record and fill in the details to speed up the process begin with the template there are again couple of videos in this help that will tell you how to start a new project and assign people to the project let's click on open the project form this new project command open a form with the fields for you to fill in after completing this we can add different colleagues let's disable the pop-up blocker let's try to add different colleagues so that they can try out the solution please make sure the pop-up blocker is turned off in the browser for microsoft dynamics 365 let's click on accept here we can send the invitation to the required person let's see all of these let's add this will send an email notification to the user so that he can be set up as a different user in the portal now let's move on to the next topic in our path which is basic customization for crm on top of psa let's talk about the customization of dynamics 365 I'll talk in context of project service automation solution. So after C installation, CRM comes with a standard set of form dashboards, which may or may not suit your business. In order to apply specific customization based on your business, user can just include fields in the various form, change the form design, create your own dashboard, create your own workflows. Say for example, you can build the approval workflow on the quotation or on the opportunity user can also create their own reports or can create the general report format based on the need but let's get into the quick details about various customization options available we will get to know the possible options available in order to customize psa as per your need since this topic is really vast and we do have a different course for the same we will stick to the basics let's get started and see in order what you can customize in crm you can change the color and the logo. You can change the form and the views. You can add, create your own fields and forms. You can design your own forms. You can create interactive dashboard. You can create your own business rules, web resources, queries, etc. So broadly, you can will classify that you can create dashboard, form design, validation, and you can change the guided help as per your business process. So we have the options to customize CRM as per the business needs. Please note that there are endless possibilities for customization and extension of PSA solution on top of CRM. 
but we must follow the golden rule of customization that is customize less and map the solution with out of box components in this video we have seen how to set up the trial account of psa we have also seen the possible customization option that can be done on top of psa although there are endless possibilities for customizing and extending the crm along with psa